Do you want a president who is a secret agent ninja for Japan? I sure don't. We've had Andrew Jackson, Woodrow Wilson, Franklin Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, a long line of great democratic presidents. Hopefully we can make that list grow even longer. Hello, my name is Charlie Shriver and I will dive for your rights as President of the United States of America. I stand before you today as one of two people that represent the great state of Michigan in the United States Senate. America's energy is weakening. We are becoming too dependent on oil. I believe that renewable energy is something we need to take more of our time to look into. Fossil fuels are not going to last forever. Yes, we have made some progress, but sooner or later it is going to run out. After the giant oil spill caused by British Petroleum, who knows when we will spill the rest. We have carbon fuel cells, we have hydrogen fuel cells, we have solar energy, we have wind power. The list goes on and on. Why aren't we taking advantage of these fuel types more, or at least putting more research into them? I will make sure of it that we focus more of our energy into saving America's energy. Another issue closely related to is our environment. With all of our air pollution and overflowing landfills, our country's ecosystem does not seem too healthy. I recycle. I drive a hybrid car. I'm doing my part to help our environment, and I will try to encourage others to use cleaner methods of living as well. Reporters and other political candidates question my views on our country's trade and economics policies frequently. Regarding trade, I believe in a free trade system. If it means trading with China or forming bonds with once enemy countries, so be it. I believe that our government should not limit who we can and cannot trade with. Furthermore, regarding our country's economy, I believe that the government has run it into the ground. I believe in securing Medicare and Social Security for all legal citizens of eligibility. I believe in keeping taxes where they stand now. It is not the people's fault that our economy has dropped. We should be, why should the, we put the government's problems on the people through higher taxes? That is completely unjust. I believe that I can aid in pulling our economy out of the depths of despair and bring us back to the great nation we once were. On another note, our education system is not running how it should be. Yes, we have some of the best colleges in the world, but it's the grade schools that need more focus. I believe that we should be funding our education more than we already are. As president, I will help the state legislatures redistribute their budgets so that we do not have to introduce more tax increases. Also, the students would have a better school environment if they were taught in smaller quantities. Reducing class size and increasing the number of classes total would not only help the student learning capabilities, but also help decrease our rock bottom unemployment rate. These students are our future, and we need to pay more attention to our country's future leaders. A major factor that hinders students in grade school, along with in college, this workplace, and everyday life for everyone, is bullying and harassment. One group that is greatly discriminated is the queer community. I myself, being an openly gay senator, have been discriminated against. I plan to run reforms to help end this discrimination and enact laws to make this community equal in every sense to the rest of our great citizens. The last we need in this period of time for our country is another civil war. And at the looks of things now, that's where we might be headed. Change needs to happen. I hope you believe in me as I believe in all of you and our country. As president, I can put your beliefs into action. My name is Charlie Shriver and I will dive for your rights. Mm -hmm.